What if I told you there is a place in Tarkov that will make you no less than 1 to 2 million rubles in about 10 minutes of looting? Well, let me introduce you to the Shoreline Military Camp. This place comes with added benefits and one of which is that you have the car extraction basically next to you so you won't have to worry about that. So you can spawn in and be out in less than 10 to 12 minutes. The other great thing is that nobody really loots this part of the map for some odd reason. Maybe they don't know about it or maybe they just choose to ignore it since this place might not look interesting enough whatever the case may be you are just losing out on millions of easy rubles so do yourself a favor and don't be that guy at first glance it might look like there is nothing of value when you arrive and no there are no bitcoins no lead access or things of that nature but there are a ton of technical supplies so basically everything you need to upgrade your hideout and of course for crafting not only that but the amount of fuel tanks electric motors and batteries you'll find there is just insane especially when it comes to fuel which always sells on the flea market since people always love to craft things this is actually a solid strategy which i recommend at any time but more so early to mid wipe since people want to upgrade their hideouts shoreline is one of those maps that can be intimidating to a lot of people since going to a resort is kind of a hardcore thing and while there might be a lot of high tier loot the chances of survival are kind of low to be honest so make your life easier this wipe and take advantage of this run while you can watch me come out with over 8 million worth of rubles in just six raids which took me no more than one hour combined obviously i have encountered some pncs along the way so we're good all cool all good you doing good and you what are you questing? Are you questing or what do you want? Why are you here? A few moments later. Good luck, man. See ya. So we're bad. But at the end of the day, this was a big win for us. Hope you find this one helpful and enjoy. Alright, so the spawn we got isn't all that bad. We are down south at the shore and the camp is located somewhere up north. I mean, it could have been better. Nonetheless, I started making my way to the military camp. Just about halfway to the camp, I started hearing an airdrop was about to take place, which means I won't be the only one going for it. The thing is, I would have ignored it if it did not cross my path, but unfortunately it did, so I had to deal with it. Man, I'm not sure I ordered that drop, but if you ask me, I'd say it's kinda risky to call in an airdrop like 3 minutes into the raid, I mean, people haven't even spawned yet. But hey, I have zero say in that, I guess. I just passed about 700 hours now, I think, so I'm basically done with the tutorial by Tarkov standards. Oh, yup, there it is. Really curious, we're going to meet at the airdrop. Probably a squad or something. Okay, should be landing somewhere. Oh, there it is, yup just wait it out okay oh there he is oh yeah looks like just one guy I kind of don't want to take this shot because uh, I don't want to miss it I mean you can have one shot so I don't really know what he's going for maybe he got some AR or something so I will be taken out just slowly creeping my way up to him. come on buddy you alone? Yeah, it looks like you might be alone. I think it just it's just looting right now. You don't get a good shot, so how about we? It'll be closer. Oh my god! I don't really feel proud about this one. But hey, you gotta do what you gotta do, I guess, right? After taking out this poor soul, I started checking his loot, taking whatever might be good before heading out. It wasn't the best loot, but it's free loot, so yeah. Oh, okay, a nice earpiece, an AK, and of course we're gonna get those mags. Okay, let's see what the bag got in it. I mean, by the looks of it, it seems to have been a technical supply drop. And uh, of course some ammo and other stuff. Not all that bad, I guess. Could have been worse. After looting the airdrop, which by the way had not too much of value, it was time to head on to the hidden gold mine that nobody really loots. Just follow the pink flowers and we'll get you there. Alright, finally made it. So usually this is the first place to loot when entering the camp. This is what I usually do. 
Here you find a lot of expensive ammo and even attachments, most of the time at least. With that said, nothing of value was here this time. So I took a minute to listen and make sure nobody was here before heading out into our first building. Oh man, it's so quiet. But you know, always make sure you stop and listen before going in. It has helped me so many times. By the looks of it, nobody seems to have contested our presence here, so let's get looting. That's a lot of stuff. Just make sure to pick up any and everything you can. And you know, always sort it out before leaving. If you really want to make life easier, just, uh, just pick up items that have the highest value. If you really want to make it much, much easier, I suggest using the Tarkov Rat Scanner. I'm not sure if you're familiar with it. Not always 100% accurate, but close enough. And no, I'm not sponsored in any way, shape or form. Oh, Jesus Christ. This key goes for at least 500k, if I'm not wrong. There really is something about these jackets here. I mean, they, they spawn expensive keys very often, actually. Picking up all these items might feel like a waste of time in the beginning. But trust me, you make millions in no time. You know, I should say, really be on the lookout for electric motors, fuel tanks and batteries while looting here. I'm telling you guys, I found more fuel here in 6 raids than I found in general over a period of 700 hours. So just make sure you keep that in mind. Oh man, just look at that, another fuel tank. Don't mind if I do. Two fuel tanks in one raid. Jesus, that's good. I'm telling you guys, people are sleeping on this place. What you're looking at is the result of just looting the first building. Just look at it. We almost filled our backpack and our rig. Telling you, do not sleep on this place. Things were going well, until I started hearing some movement in our proximity. So I thought, better to deal with it fast than let it escalate. Yep. Oh Jesus Christ, I thought it was a player at first. I actually forgot Scav spawn here. You know, FYI. I also want to mention this container on my left here. Take an extra second to get up on it because it usually spawns quite expensive attachments. You know, I can't really believe people are now looting this place. I've been here so many times and I have maybe stumbled upon someone once or twice. And even then, they weren't even looting, just running by. Bro, there is so much stuff here. I always have to drop items to make room for other items. That's where the rat scanner comes into good use. Yoink. I ran this loot run at least 10 times by now, which is something I always do since I want to get a good average on money I make. And I can say with any hesitation that the lowest you'll ever run out with from here is at least 1 million ruble. And again, that's just a minimum. I mean, the goal is to earn as much money as fast as possible with the lowest risk possible, right? So, I always try it out myself before I decide if it's actually worth the trouble or not. And this one, it is definitely worth it. Alright, we are coming to an end on this run. To summarize this run, I made exactly 2 millions, which if you ask me, is totally worth the 10 minutes spent here. Really hope this helps you out. That's about it. See ya.